Yo guys, what is up? This is Tom from Unreal Mad and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how to simply make realistic and procedural grass in Blender. So let's start. First, let's delete the default cube and add a plane, scale it up and then go to particles new particle system and this will be here. If it looks like that, you can go to edit mode, mesh, normals, flip, and then it's on the upside. Then let's add a higher number of hairs, like 10,000. Then go to children, simple. Then you can also turn on advanced, go to physics and add a bit of brownian. Then go to hair length and make it a bit smaller like that. Let's decrease the brownie in a bit. Okay, and for the next step we can go to shading. Let's add a new material and call this grass. Then just add a noise texture. From there let's grab a color ramp and plug the color into the color ramp. Then we can preview this and you can see the noise already. Let's change this a bit and add another color ramp. So Ctrl C, Ctrl V, preview this with Ctrl Shift and left click and let's add a bit more scale and a bit more contrast. Now press Ctrl Shift and right click over these two color ramps so you get a mix node. Then click on multiply and you can change the value to your liking. Then grab another color ramp and this goes in between these two and from here you can change the color to your liking. So I will grab a green and let's make it a bit more yellow too. And you can also plug this into the base color now and preview the principal BSDF. If you would like to have more small detail you can duplicate the setup again and just go with the multiply into here and then the color into the color ramp. And then you can add some small scale detail too. Like this. And this is the final result in rendered mode. From here you can randomize the velocity a bit for some longer hair. So it looks even more realistic. Then just make this light a bit brighter. And now some tweaks you might like, so you can change the specular value to 0 for dry grass in summer maybe, and 1 if there was rain, but I just keep it at 0.5. And another cool thing is, you can go to your plane, let's just deactivate the particle system for now. And what you can do is go to vertex groups, add a new group and call this density or whatever you like. Then go to edit mode, subdivide your plane and I will subdivide it a hundred times. And now you can go to weight paint and just paint weights on it where you want your grass to be. Then let's go back to object mode, to your particle system and scroll down to vertex groups, density and select density. And only at this place there will be grass. Okay, I hope you liked this video. If yes, leave a thumbs up. If no, leave a thumbs down. I'll see you next time and bye.